Now in this question, the main clause is in the non-underlined portion. We can see that the chairman, the subject, painted a picture of the economy. Now the clause ends with a comma followed by suggesting to investors the bank. Now this construction is the present participle modifier at the end of the clause. So how does this function? Well, it functions to modify the entire clause in front of it. And grammatically, the suggesting will apply to the subject, the chairman. So who's suggesting? The chairman is suggesting. Now, this present participle modifier, remember, at the end of the clauses, can suggest two types of meaning. One is a case of simultaneous actions. So we can say uh, he watched his favorite show eating popcorn. So this present participle modifier indicates exactly what he was doing while he watched his favorite show. So this is a case of simultaneous actions. And on the other hand, it can also indicate a case of cause and effect. So I can say he fell from his bike injuring his arm. Now in both cases grammatically we can see that these present participle modifiers modify the entire clauses in front of them and also applies to the subject whom this action is referring to. So he was his favorite show eating popcorn who was eating popcorn he was and who injured the arm in this case he was so both these meanings can work and if we go by that we can understand that the chairman painted this picture of the economy suggesting to investors so simultaneously uh, when he painted the picture of the economy he suggested this right but then there are plenty of other mistakes to go by here now if we look at the original sentence in A, we have suggesting to investors the central bank and B says suggesting to investors that the central bank. Now, there is one main difference that B has that. So, look at this construction. Are we supposed to say the chairman suggested the bank or he suggested that the bank would do something? Because if I just simply say suggested, it will be similar to saying he suggested a vacation. So what did he suggest? He suggested a vacation. So when I simply use suggest, I'll just use a noun construct. Whereas on the other hand, if I say he suggested that, I will not end with he suggested that a vacation, right? I have to say he suggested that I take a vacation. So he suggested that I take a vacation. In this case, this is not simply a noun, it is a clause construction. So this suggesting to investors would just apply to the central bank and this does not make any sense. He is not suggesting the central bank. He is suggesting to investors that the central bank would do something. Also notice in the original sentence we have is not lowering, which is a present continuous tense. This is used to talk about an ongoing action in the present, but the sentence indicates that it's an action being carried out in the future. So B says, suggesting to investors that the bank would not lower, right? So this is actually more appropriate usage. A goes off for these reasons. Now C says which. C starts with which. This which is referring to the optimistic picture of the economy and you can definitely say this picture suggests something to the investors and all that. But there's something I want to point out about C, D and E. Even though C, D and E start with these which, with and with constructions that actually change the meaning in certain ways, we really don't have to deal with them right now. And I shall explain these with constructions in future videos because over here it's not really important because we just need to pay attention to the usage of these kind of phrases. 
I would recommend test takers to always be mindful of prepositional phrases because this in the near future or this of interest rates is actually being placed in different locations. And one must not really assume that, well, these things all mean the same because they are still part of the sentence, right? No, we should always be mindful of prepositional phrases. So look at what this is. It says investors in the near future. Are we talking about investors in the near future or the bank doing something in the near future? So see, this distorts the meaning, C goes off. And again, D has the same problem, D goes off. Now, E has a shift, but again, E says investors of interest rates. Now, what the hell does that even mean? Are they investors of interest rates? No, right? It's about the bank doing something with these interest rates. So, we can see that C, D and E kind of distort the meaning by using these misplaced prepositional phrases. So, this leaves us with the right answer choice, B for Bravo, having the comma ing or the present participle modifier at the end of the clause indicating the right logic.